Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I thought I'd bring something new for you guys. So, I gave you the 35-0 Morphe palette tutorial. Um, it has been a long, 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 long time since I have wore brown eyeshadow. But I feel like for this look, I really made it work. This is, I feel like this look is super glam, it's super pretty, and it works for anyone. Like, seriously though. Um, I just want to thank you guys for getting me to the part to where I am today for over 600 subscribers. I want to thank you so, 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 so much. Um, this has been a long journey for me and honestly I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you. And I just wanted to say that. And also, I do have a QA and a coming up. Um, so for the q and I'm letting you guys ans uh, ask me personal questions. I mean, you ask me any question that you want to, um, and I will answer them, um, honestly. And the deadline for that is August the 20th, 2016, and um, that will be, um, I'm going to let you guys ask me two questions per viewer. Um, so yeah, um, but remember that beauty is like gold, it's rich and pure but very fragile. Always remember that guys, and also if you like this look, please like, comment, and if you're not already subscribed, um, become part of the family. If you are in the family, I love you so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Okay guys, so let's start. So I'm going to start with priming, and for priming, I'm just going to be using the Benefit Professional. Um, this isn't their value size, but... I'm just going to try this product out because I have never used the Professional. I've heard such great things about it, but I have never used it. So I'm going to give it a try and see how it is. So it is like this tinted primer, which I hope it's really good because um, I see some of my favorite YouTubers using it and they said they absolutely adore it. So I'm going to see how it does. And if it actually fills in. Okay, yeah, it does. It actually fills in pores. And I can see that it's already working, so. Mmm, it has a smell to it, too. So I'm just going to massage that all over. Ignore that pimple. <laughs> but I'm going to massage that all over just to blend out everything and make everything look nice. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Matte Plus Poreless in the shade 128 Warm Nude. So to blend that out, to blend that, I'm just going to be taking a wet beauty blender and literally just picking some up with it and make some dots on my face. And I'm just going to beat it into my skin. And guys, I'm sorry, but this video is probably going to be a little bit long because I am doing my full face. So I'm sorry if it is a little bit long.
Okay, so foundation is done. So now I'm just going to take some concealer and just highlight. And the concealer that I will be using is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light. And I'm just going to take it. Just literally just put some like right there. That you have the concealer on, we're gonna blend it out. So I'm just gonna use the same beauty blender, um, Aesthetica Beauty Sponge, to blend that out. I'm trying to stay in frame because I noticed while watching my own videos and editing that when I'm blending out like under eye concealer and stuff, I'm like bending down. So I'm trying not to do that because I know that's annoying because you guys are probably like, what in the hell is going on? See like I just did. Usually when I say beat face, I'm not kidding. Like on my own self, I beat the heck out of my face. On a client or something though, don't worry. I would never beat you in the face. So I'm just gonna take and make sure that is blended. Okay, so now to set that under eye concealer and to further on highlight, I'm gonna be using the Morphe um, 9C contour palette. Isn't she beautiful? Yes, I love her. Okay, so I'm gonna take this Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and dip into this yellow correcting shade here. I'm sorry that that tripod just moved. My knee hit it. I'm sorry. So let me move you guys. Back. Okay, so I'm just gonna take that and set the concealer. And as well as setting, it's just gonna brighten everything up under the under eye and make everything just look really, really hot. So, we just set our eyes with that. I'm just going to do the same thing over the other concealer. Just to so yeah. Okay, so now that the highlighting's done, I'm going to start to contour. And to contour, I'm going to be using the same Morphe palette, the 9C. And I'm going to dip into this shade right here using the e.l.f. bronzing brush. And I'm just going to dip into this shade. Pounce it against the container and we are going to contour. Hmm. For some reason, like, my contours do not like to be opaque, so I have to keep building and building. So. I'm just gonna further blend that in. 
And guys, I know my contouring's not the best, so please apologize. But that's how I like to contour, so I'm just gonna take it over here on this side too. And just run it, you know, everywhere. That's just how I like to contour. If you guys have like a different method of contouring, by all means, use that method. Do what makes you feel comfortable in your makeup, like, because that's what you're supposed to do. Makeup is supposed to be to make you comfortable, to make you feel good about yourself. So yeah, that's what you do. Okay, so now I'm going to highlight and to highlight, because I don't know if you guys knew this about me or not, but I don't really wear blush that often, because I don't know, it's just something about blush just doesn't mix with me. So I'm like, no, thank you on the blush. <laughs> so I don't do that. Um, but to highlight, I'm going to take, oh my God, I just got scared you guys. But, um, so to highlight, I'm going to take some Mac Fix Plus and this Shawnee Cosmetics fan brush and spray it like 20 times. And we are going to be dipping into the highlighting shade from the Morphe 9C she is like this goat shimmer shade that I just love. <clears throat> yes, so I'm just gonna do that. And I think I soaked my brush too much. Okay, so now that I got that done, I forgot to go and contour my nose. Silly me. So I'm just going to take this Morphe M200 brush, dip into this light contour that I used um, on the cheek. And literally just contour with it. Yes, I really do go ham with my nose contour. So I bet you guys are like, bitch, calm it down. But you know, I just love a contoured nose. So I'm just gonna take just a little bit of this same beauty blender and just calm that nose contour down just a little bit. I know she came to party, but honey, we don't want her to be too extravagant. Okay, so now that I have that done. I'm going to highlight my nose using the same highlighting shade I used for the cheeks. And again, I'm just going to use that same Morphe M200 brush and literally just blend it out in like a little exclamation mark. So, like that. And we're going to take a little bit right here. Yes, honey. So, okay, so let's move on to brows. And for the eyebrows, I'm going to be using the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. And it does have a spoolie on one end, so I'm going to comb through my eyebrows first. So we're going to fix those. All right, so now that I got the spoolie done, I'm going to take the pencil and we are gonna sketch out our brows.
Okay, so I just used that to really draw in the outline of the eyebrows, but we're going to be using a gel as well afterwards. So. Okay, so now that we use that pencil, which it was the Goof Proof, Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit, I'm gonna take their Cabral Brow Gel by Benefit. It, it comes like this little brush, thank God. And I'm just literally, as you can see, I never used it, so I'm gonna dip into it, and we are gonna fill in our eyebrows with them. So, start it. Now that the brows look, that eyebrow looks snatched. Yes! Okay, so we're gonna work on the other one. And I literally just sweep it through there like it's no one's business. Okay, so now that the brows look decent, um, we can now move on to eyeshadow. Now guys, this is my favorite part because this is going to be the star of the show. She has came to play and yeah, she came to slay too, honey. So, we are going to be using, as the title says, the Morphe 35O palette. So let me open her for you. Look at her. She is so beautiful. So gorgeous. Okay. Also, guys, I want to mention that um, Okay, so I'm just going to start off with some concealer to with my eyes, lips, really one more streak there, one there. And I'm just going to use the same Aesthetic Beauty Sponge. I keep wanting to call it the Beauty Blender because it reminds me of Beauty Blender so much. But, um, yeah. So now that concealer's basically beat down um we are going to start with the actual eyeshadow okay so to set that concealer i'm going to be using this shade here from the 35o palette it's like this beigey white um, on camera it does show up pure white but it's really not it's like this beige undertone white it's really pretty so i'm just gonna cast that all over not really neat at all because it's just going to be our base to set our uh, eyeshadow. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. And also guys, um, these eyeshadows are so buttery and I just love them so much. They're so smooth, so soft. These are like, I don't know, I just love them. They're just, I just love Morphe eyeshadow in general. So, I don't know, it's just my favorite, you know? Okay, so now we got that, I'm going to take this shade here and run that through. Use that as our transition, just for blending. And I'm just going to take a Shawnee E C001 brush and so that is on there in the trans 
position. Alright, so for the crease, I'm going to be using these two chains right here, mixing them together. And we are going to blend for days. So that's blended through that side. And So now um, for the uh, outer eye, I cannot speak today, I'm going to take the Shawnee ES007 brush and we are going to be dipping into these two shades right here and I'm just going to use those two on the outer portion of the eye to really just make everything pop and make it look good. Okay, so I used that, and now I'm just going to take this LA Colors blending brush and blend it in. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. I don't know, I just like to apply the shadow with the Shawnee brush, then go back in with that LA Colors brush and just blend it. That's strange. Also, guys, I forgot to tell you. I am doing a Q&A on my channel very soon. So, if you guys want to ask me a question and be featured in that Q&A, please comment down below and I will, um, I will answer all the questions that are sent, whether they are personal or none personal it really doesn't matter um i will be answering all of them so so whether it's like yeah like i said whether it's personal or not send me them because i want to answer these. and i'm going to limit each um viewer to questions so each viewer gets to ask me two questions and I will be sure to answer them all right. okay so for the lid I'm going to I'm going to take this color here it's like this nice foiled color and it's just beautiful on the lid and it just I don't know it just makes everything look flawless and I'm just
And guys, if someone tells you that you must, must, must apply your eyeshadow um, padding, that's not the case all the time because, especially with like foil shadows, sometimes I just have to swap down just a little bit. See how I'm doing right here? I have to do that a lot actually with foil shadows because the foil shadows, they're just so much more pigmented and they're so much more metallic so I just want the best payoff I want it to be like popping so I just take my brush and really just sweep it and I did not wet my brush for these eyeshadows um, because for this eyeshadow it's not needed Okay, so that part is done. Now I'm just gonna take a smudger brush and smudge the lower lash line. And to do that, I'm gonna take like these two shades right here, these two, two light ones, and use that on the bottom. I bet you guys are like, why are you mixing colors? So I'm gonna explain that actually. I like to mix colors because I just feel like it gives like a more beautiful tone and more of it. So I always usually mix them to make them look precise. And I'm just obsessed with this Ashna look right now because I don't know, I'm just obsessed with it. It just looks so beautiful. If you go back to school and you like to wear very glam makeup, because school is in, in session in most places, so if you like that, then you can by all means wear it. Okay, so now, I, now that I got that done, I'm going to take... Um, a Shawnee EB004 brush, if I could talk today, and dip into this shade here, and that is going to be going on the inner corner of my eye. And these do kind of re resemble each other, but I'm going to be adding another color on top of that one. It's like a goatish color, so it'll look pretty, I promise. Okay, so now that I got that in, over top of that, I'm going to be taking like this little goatish shade right here. And just use that on the inside. I just feel like that's so beautiful. It's like the champagne gold and it's like a rose. It turns into a rose gold once you get done. It's just so beautiful. Okay, so now that that is done, I'm gonna move on to mascara. And for mascara, I'm gonna be using the um, Benefit Bare Real Mascara. And for that, I'm gonna take a bit mascara on the eyelashes. You look beautiful. Thank you. You look absolutely beautiful. Sorry, guys, that's my mom. Say hi. Hi. Okay, so I'm just gonna add um, some of that mascara. So, there's that. 
And this part is optional. You really don't need to do this part unless you really want to. But I'm going to take some falsies, which is um, RSN lashes. And if you have me on Snapchat, you guys have already seen that I have used these before. And the, these are just so beautiful. So beautiful. They're 3D mink lashes. So, I mean, they are going to be like a little bit, you know, big. So, if that's something you, if you don't like big eyelashes, these definitely would not be for you then. You could go with like the Ardell Wispies or something. I'm just letting that dry right quick and then we're gonna apply that on to our Okay guys, so as you guys know, I did apply the lashes off camera. So now we're gonna move on to the lips and I'm gonna be using Gerard Cosmetics Aphrodite Liquid Lipstick. This is the perfect nude. I just love it for And literally all you need with this lipstick is like two. Yeah, so you're good. Okay, so that is done. So now I'm just gonna work on the bottom lashes. I know I'm strange for doing it in that order, but I'm gonna take the Mac Zoom Lash sample and that's gonna just go on the bottom. Oh my god, no. Okay guys, so that is the finished look. I hope you guys love it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on the social media so I can stay connected with you guys. So I can put the pictures and spam your pages. Because I just love doing that. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys like it. Please leave a comment down below if you did. I love you all. Remember that beauty is like gold. It's rich and pure, but very fragile. Also, be kind. It's free. And yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.